All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 13. Our question is, which of the following is the longest elementary canal? Is it A, the esophagus, B, the stomach, C, the small intestine, or D, the large intestine? One more time, which of the following is the longest elementary canal? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which of the following is the longest elementary canal, and we had a great turnout. We had 25 votes on this, and four said it was the esophagus, 4% said it was the stomach, 72% said it was the small intestine, so this one is the one that everyone primarily chose, and then 12% said it was the large intestine, and then 8% said, I have no idea, where can I find your Inblex review courses? So stay to the very end, and I will explain to you exactly where you can find my Inblex review courses. And then thank you to the three people who liked this post. All right, so let's go ahead and cover this material and see which one of these is the answer. So we need to have an understanding of the digestive system structures. And so let's run back to the question. Our question says, which one of the following is the longest? And we have the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. So let's start with the esophagus. So here's the esophagus. Here's the stomach. Here's the small intestine. And then here is the large intestine. And so the question is real simple. It wants to know which one of these is the longest. So we can tell easily that the stomach is not it. And also the esophagus is not it compared to the small intestine and the large intestine. And so we can get rid of the esophagus and we can get rid of the stomach, which leaves us with a 50-50% chance of picking either the small intestine or the large intestine. So let's take another closer look and see which one of these is the correct answer. So here is the small intestine. Now compared to this small intestine is the large intestine. And the one that is the correct answer here is the small intestine. The small intestine is actually approximately 20 feet in length. So it is the longest alimentary canal that we have in the digestive system. So the correct answer here is the small intestine, meaning 72% of the voters got this question right. It is the small intestine. Now, if you were these other individuals who chose the wrong answer, I would encourage you to check out my digestive system Inblex review course if you did not get this question correct in the community tab. It's very important important that you know this information before you go into the Inblex. On the Inblex review course, I cover all of the structures, all of the functions, and all of the stages of digestion. It has study notes where you can fill in the blanks, as well as the ability to label the structures of the digestive system, as well as label layers of the GI tract. Very important information that you need to have an understanding of before you go into the Inblex. Remember that 11 to 12 percent of the Inblex is going to cover anatomy and physiology, meaning that there will be 11 to 12 questions out of 100 that may cover materials like this. So I would highly encourage you to check out this Inblex review course if you were one of the individuals that did not get this answer correct. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description below to get to this course. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.